Hello, everybody. Dan here with another video for you all. Earlier this week, we added eight Bitcoin mining positions to our model portfolios, uh, five of which were added to our platinum tier, which is our options trading, and three of them were added to our diamond tier, which is one of our stock services. Uh, needless to say, we are extremely bullish on Bitcoin and very bullish on Bitcoin mining companies. Now, before we get into it, I just have to go over a few of the disclaimers. And that is that I work with Paul at a company called ATG Digital. We are a financial newsletter service company. Uh, we send out trade alerts um, for stocks, for crypto, for options. Um, we send out weekly portfolio updates. Um, we do trade and transact in the companies, commodities um, that we talk about and discuss. And lastly, uh, none of the information that we put out, including this video, should be taken as financial advice. It is just information that we have gathered and want to share with you all. Now, since May, uh, Bitcoin has been trading relatively flat. Um, it's had a few spikes and a few pullbacks. But with almost a five-month consolidation phase, um, Bitcoin is looking to pull, um, to rip a lot higher as we enter Q4, um, which begins next week. Um, during this time in this cycle, um, as we enter Q4, Bitcoin tends uh, to see massive price increases. So we are very, very bullish for the coming months. Now, to take advantage of this move in Bitcoin, um, we have opted. Um, like I said, we added eight positions. So we want to uh, put these positions into our portfolios because we think Bitcoin miners are a nice leverage bet on Bitcoin. Um, so as Bitcoin moves higher, we believe that these Bitcoin miners are going to rip uh, with it. Now, some miners have already begin to pull away and some are lagging behind. Now, some miners have already ripped and some of them are lagging behind. Now, granted, if you go back uh, from earlier this year, as Bitcoin has ripped higher, a lot of Bitcoin mining companies did not move along with it. Uh, there's a few reasons as to why. Uh, mainly, a lot of these Bitcoin mining companies um, with the halving involved um, over a year ago, they wanted to increase their mining fleet, increase the um, their their exahash or their mining power to mine more Bitcoin, and they had to raise capital to do so and increase or expand their infrastructure. And all of that takes a lot of money. But as you know, we were in a high interest rate environment, we had higher inflation, so to raise capital was extremely difficult and very expensive. So what some of these companies did was they diluted shareholders. Um, which is uh, which is negative for the stock price. So as Bitcoin ran up, a lot of these Bitcoin miners um, hardly moved at all or even moved down. But now we are in a totally different trading environment. Um, these companies have already expanded. They've already increased pretty much um, as much as they can. I mean, they still are doing a little bit, but the bulk of their expansion is complete. Um, and we are now in a uh, an environmental rate, or um, I'm sorry, an interest rate where uh, we are seeing a lot of cuts. We had a cut earlier, um, Federal Reserve cut interest rates earlier this month, and a few more cuts are expected to happen throughout year's end. So with all of this in mind, um, we believe these Bitcoin miners are going to continue to run higher. Now I'm just going to go over two Bitcoin mining companies uh, that we are bullish on and that we actually hold in our gold tier model portfolio. First to go over is Iron Limited, ticker symbol I-R-E-N. Uh, Iron has been a massive mover in the last few months. It is up 380% so far this year in 2025. Um, Iron's strategy um, is pretty simple. They mine Bitcoin and they sell it. Um, they do not hold Bitcoin. They get the cash and they have just been increasing their infrastructure, increasing their mining fleet and has been one of the fastest growing Bitcoin mining companies out there. Um, but their big surge in stock price is because they have decided to turn a lot of their mining power, their mining fleet that they use to mine Bitcoin, and they have begun leasing it out to AI or HPC deals, which is high um, power computing. With AI being a massive theme and has continued to do so, a lot of companies are looking to turn towards AI um, for their companies, but it takes a lot of time and money to build infrastructure um, but Iron's, you know, they, they have this infrastructure to mine Bitcoin, and they are now seeing that other companies are willing to rent out or use their computing power um, for AI services. So they have been leading the way uh, in AI. 
Now, they still do mine Bitcoin. They mine 668 Bitcoin, I believe, in the month of August. So they still are mining Bitcoin, um, but they have been uh, more or less turning away from that to do uh, AI HPC deals. Um, we've been holding iron for, for a bit. Um, we are up 423% in this position, and we are going to continue to hold um, as more gains are coming for iron. The second Bitcoin miner to talk about today is um, Mara Holdings, formerly known as Marathon Digital, ticker symbol M-A-R-A. -A. Uh, Mara has been around for quite a while. It was around during the last cycle in 2020. Um, Mara operates. Um, it's pretty much a very simple strategy. It is mine Bitcoin and hold it. Um, they have one of the, the largest um, amounts of Bitcoin on its balance sheet with 52,477 Bitcoin. Uh, they have a massive mining fleet as well, about 60 exahash. Um, again, Iron has 50 exahash. Um, Mara has 60, so it is bigger um, and holds more Bitcoin. Uh, the reason it hasn't run up nearly as much is because they aren't too big in the AI or HPC deals, um, but they are beginning to do so. Uh, they recently made a deal with Axion, which is a company that develops and operates data centers and provides secure and uh, AI infrastructure to other companies. So I think they are taking a page out of Iron's playbook to get more into AI and HPC deals while still holding all of their Bitcoin that they have. Um, what's interesting about Mara is that they have, I think it's a little bit less than a $7 billion market cap today, um, but with Bitcoin around 113K, uh, their Bitcoin holdings is about $6 billion. So they're basically trading for um, about as much Bitcoin as they currently hold. This gives very little valuation to their mining fleet, to their infrastructure, to their um, expansion abilities, uh, and to the future rise of uh, in Bitcoin's price, so I think Bit uh, so I think Mara can definitely rip a lot higher as Bitcoin goes up, and as they develop and um, release news about new potential AI or HPC deals that are coming. Uh, Iron's market cap is around twelve billion, um, so yeah, Mara's is just about half of that, even though it has fifty two thousand um, Bitcoin um, on its balance sheet and has more mining power. Um, so I think that they're going to start to maybe develop uh, or turn into uh, more AI HPC uh, deals. So we're going to see, and we're going to continue to holding on to Mara. Although Mara hasn't performing as well as Iron, um, we are up about 59% on our position here. A lot of money is going to come into Mara bidding it higher, especially as Bitcoin rises in price. Like I said, we added eight positions, eight Bitcoin mining positions to our model portfolios uh, earlier this week. If you want to check them out or to see um, how we are playing these Bitcoin miners in terms of our option trading services, all you have to do is click the link here. Uh, it'll take you to our website. Our subscription start out at just $9.99 a month. That's all for today. Till next time.